Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 with your truly your first pair of Primus Piles. We are back with the Loyalist campaign and thank you for all your tips and feedbacks and uh, stuff like that. Apparently in the last episode I've been trying to marry off a eunuch, which is, uh, well, it's, it's not going to happen, is it? And also something you guys mentioned, which I completely missed, is that some of our lands actually flipped over to Bulgaria, which uh, had something to do with, uh, well, I, I honestly don't know. But in any case... I think we should probably, probably take that back, shouldn't we? And uh, looking at our character, we probably don't have that much time to do it. So, but probably our heir has a bit of claim. Probably our heir has a, has a couple of claims as well. Let's uh, check that, actually. Huh, maybe not. Maybe not, but I'd I would like to uh, do something about this. Now, first of all, we have some armies raised because we are helping our liege with the uh, Holy War over here. I think we are going to send our armies back, disband them, and then see if we can... Uh, because I think we've done enough in this war, basically. So I think we're going to send our armies back, disband them, and then see if we can fight Bulgaria on this one. Because I really want those... Uh, I really want that those counties back, basically. Because this this, is, this isn't good, guys. This isn't good. Right. Uh, also, we need to... You're already doing what you should. That's good. Uh, we have low county control. Right, 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 right. Sure. Right, I'm gonna disband these. Take up to four months. We'll take some time. We'll wait a bit before we uh, before we raise them again. Because <clears throat> now we can probably probably fight her, can't we? Oh, right. Okay, that's a bit annoying. Well, we'll see. I would like to get at least Anjou back, I think. Let's do it. Call on the house member there. Excellent. Let's move. War declared on leash. Okay, well, so we should probably, probably... Wow, that music is so good. So yeah, after this war, we should probably start helping our leash again. How's the war going? Good. Got it. Murder. blackmail you, shall we? Good. How about you pay us some money? I would like to take over this siege, honestly, but it's not going to happen, is it? Go. Man, it's annoying that our vassal flipped there. Righty, siege one. That's good. Prisoners taken, which is good as well. We can sell them probably. Yep. Let's ransom you. And then let's see if we can get our spy master to spy somewhere else. Uh, I'd like to get a better spy master, to be honest. 65%. That's fine. Right, we got that. Let's start sailing to Cornwall. Vannes will prosper from the herd. Yes, indeed. Right, so we're almost there. Uh, yeah, we have the... Good, good. This is good. We're going to win this. I don't think they'll send their army soon, so... Ooh, we have died. Look at that. Duke Maurice II of Anjou rests in the arms of the Lord at 68 years of age. He died an old man. Uh, he died of old age. That's good. That's a good way to die. A man of unparalleled prowess, he finally found an opponent that he could not overpower. Duke Maurice ascends to the throne. Content with his lot, Maurice's vassals may ridicule him for his passive nature. Oh, okay. Right. So let's take a look at this guy. He is intelligent, which is good. 
Uh, we have a bit of money, although we're losing quite a bit of money here. So we have empty council positions. Let's get the realm in order, first of all. And second of all, we probably lost some titles there. And I didn't even check, did I? I didn't check. Damn it. Um, so we're four out of five. We have... Oh, Martin of Somerset. That is our uncle, Vassal and Knight. So we are the primary heir here. What we could probably do is murder this guy. And we might be able to get away with that. So let's do that. And then hopefully, hopefully his lands flip to us. Now let's check whether we have some children. We don't. So we should get some children. We're only 21 years old, though, so that's probably going to happen. We need to sway our wife, though. Uh, actually, romance. Uh, you know what? Seducer. Go seducer. Then we have our brother-in-law, who is not of the same dynasty, so we need to keep an eye on that. And you are of the same dynasty, so that's good. Uh, brother and player heir. Okay, they are betrothed. I think they'll get some children as well, so we shouldn't worry too much. But still, we should worry. So what are you? You are a insightful thinker. You are fickle, you are zealous, and you are content. I think that is all right. We can call a hunt and we can host a feast. Uh, we could probably do that. I don't want to do that right now. First of all, let's pick a focus. And I think we want to focus on stewardship again and go for those golden obligations because that is good. Let us fo uh, let's focus on domain here. So, and then we probably want to take a look at our council. And we want a decent chancellor. Uh, I think you'll be decent fine and then you are good as well uh, I'd, I'd yeah I'd like to have a better marshal than you I'm sorry sorry my count although we're killing you anyway so there we go and then for a spy master we probably don't want to make him the spy master it's probably going to be you but right now you are the steward so can we get yeah we can get you as a steward that's fine Right, let's check what we need to do here. Uh, we can call on allies. We can usurp stuff. Well, we can't usurp because this is the uh, this is the loyalist campaign. Remember, guys, we have rules. Um, let me set a timer as well because I'll keep playing if I don't. Right, let's get on with it and see if we can win this war against uh, Bulgaria real quick because that's that's one thing out of the way. And we became the dynasty advocate. Now let me check how this uh, let me check how this is going. Because we could probably convince somebody. Yeah, 75. I'm going with this. I'm going with this. Let's convince you and make sure we actually are able to murder this guy. Now, hopefully, there's a faction created. Uh, military power is 60%. I don't think, I don't think they're going to make it. Hopefully, we can knock this war out quickly. No, it's too risky. It's fine. We, we already have enough, so... Let's be as gallant and charming as we can be, right? Beneath those layers. It shouldn't be long before she replicates my feelings. Right. Marshal and suspect. That's good. Let's take that. And... Unfortunately, we cannot enforce these demands yet. But we should just keep an eye on the situation. I don't want to travel all the way to Bulgaria. So what we could probably do is sail over to here and help our leisure bit. Because how does our leech think about us? There you are. Emperor Cantule II. So we should probably start thinking about... Wow, he looks uh, he looks old, doesn't he? Oh, he's sick, isn't he? Yeah, he's a leper. So, yeah, he, his health is poor. Your primary heir is a carling, fortunately. Who is also a brilliant strategist. So, my expectations are up. So yeah, we should focus on Prince Louis. So let's pin him already. Uh, yeah, we're going to pay some money doing that. Which is too bad, but it is what it is. Ransom accepted, good. Um, now, we should probably have you try and discover some secrets. And let's actually do that. 95%, look at that, that's good. Let's go discover some secrets in our own court. Now the war score is going to tick up. Because uh, we control the war target. So, that's good. Ah, good. There's the victory. So be it. I cannot... Good, she's pregnant. This music is new. I haven't heard this before. It's beautiful. I cannot wait to hold the babe in my arms. Absolutely. Okay, so what else? Uh, let me check what those other wars are. Is that the Bulgarian army? It might be. Yeah. It might be. Start moving. And we are in debt. Ah, oh, quite like 
significantly significantly in depth. Which isn't great, but it is what it is. We can't really help it right now. We need to win this war, and then we need to stabilize the realm a bit, if possible. Because we can get more holdings. If we kill this guy, then... And that's going to happen soon, so... The celebrations have come to an end with this, with the evening's entertainment. And the evening's entertainment seemed to be over when Duchess Marie suggested a reading. Hmm. Sure. It was great, wasn't it? Smoldering chemistry, chemistry there. Right, let's see if we can uh, do something. Uh, no, don't do that. Come on. Okay, so if our ally gets... You know what? Don't don't even try. Go, go for the army. Although, is that even... Yeah, that is the Kingdom of Bulgaria. So, we're almost there. Good, good. There we go, that's it. Now we enforce the Mons, and that is the war. Good. So, what is this? Duchy of Orléans. And this is not good. So they're gonna take it. Where do they? Where's their? Uh, where's their capital? Their capital is over there. Uh, we could try and face the army head on, but I'd rather. Oh man, I don't think we'll win this head on. So do we have a better commander? We are actually a better commander. What if we do this? No, we are crossing a river there, so let's not do that. Yeah, we're bankrupt. I know. Uh, yeah, let's just do it. Good secret uncovered, which is good. You don't have any money though. Agent removed from scheme, why? But well, we're still at 86%, so that is good, I guess. Good, as we are united in marriage, now we are also united in heart. Um, how about a white piece, actually? Is that not a thing? That is not a thing. Yeah, no. Let's, uh, we can ask our head of faith for gold, which is good. Let's do that. How many men? You. Can't be, call can't be called to war. That is too bad. Good. So now we are no longer in debt. Does it... Mm, no. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's check some other allies. Only 700 men. You have a thousand men. I am going to call you to war. Excellent. We're taking attrition already. No, come on, why are you running? What the hell happened here? Ooh, we have a new son and heir. Very good. Gilles de Menou. Herculean and quick, that is good. Alright, so we will probably be able to liberate this real quick. Um, so let's just, let's do that. Because that, that's going to be good for the war score. What's happening here? There we go, liberate it. Uh, now, they, ha they do have more men than we have. I would like to get a white piece out of this, because I really don't care about this war, but uh, it seems that they... Okay, he's still in Wiltshire. Um, we could marry our son to somebody. You're Welsh. That could be good, but... Yeah, I think this is good. Let's do it. This will be easy. Hopefully. May he rest in peace. Good, that's the alliance. Let's call him in. Okay, good. So where are you coming from? 
Yeah, you're coming from over there. Let's wait for them by the sea. These 2,000 men should be able to turn the tide of battle there, I think. I would like to have a better knight, to be honest. To, uh, to have a better commander, to be honest. Right, we lost the Siege of Angus there. So they are winning again. Now, our allies are going to come in to help, I think. Yeah, they're going to come in and they're locked already. So that's good. Let's get them in. Oh, this is going to get iffy. But I think we're going to be able to win this. So, okay, so we need a new Chancellor. Uh, how are we doing here? He already died. Damn it. Did he get an heir? He did get an heir. So we need to start murdering you. Start that scheme. And then we have a powerful vassal, you, the mayor. Uh, it's fine, you'll come to like us there, so that's good. Right, uh, Leon. We're winning this, aren't we? We are winning this, very good. It was iffy, though. Okay, go disrupt schemes. Now let's have you do something else somewhere else. So we really need to get some more secrets and some hooks and stuff. So let's, uh, you know what, let's go to Rome. Uh, you know what, Constantinople. We got him, and we gained a level of fame from that. That's good. Okay, how many kills? Yeah, there's more kills on our side. But this should be good for the war score. Yeah, plus 14%. Now, if we take Anjou real quick, then we should be able... Then we should be able to get a white piece out of this real quickly. Uh, we can change somebody's contract as well. Don't really want to, though. Okay, let's do this as quick as we can. Paying for war. Uh, I don't want to raise additional taxes. Good, they're efficiently supplied. That's good. Okay, let's knock this one out. Really? How are we not winning that? We need to cut them off. We have a new leash. Wow. What happened? Huh. Duke of Cro Croatia. Okay. We need to intercept them. Yep, good, got him. That is good, that is good. Now let's take take care of them. Yes, we'll be on the council, absolutely. Okay, so now we're winning against them. I might actually enforce the demands here if we can. Because they'll, they'll have to pay a lot of money for that. So, okay, let's check this real quick. You're actually a decent... You'll actually be a decent knight. So, I think we're going to negotiate the release there. You don't hold... Oh, uh, you do hold titles. Okay, so we can't recruit you. You have quite a bit of money. If we get a hook, I think we should be able to extort that with golden obligation. So, let's negotiate that. We have a hook, so now we should be able to demand payment, right? Yeah, good. Farewell, then. Right, we'll ransom you. We can demand payment from you, which is good. It's not taking us out of the negatives, but uh, it is what it is. Hopefully, we'll get a valuable hostage. We did not get a valuable hostage. So, question right now. We did capture some other combatants. We captured a count, so let's negotiate your release as well. We'll gain a hook, too. So, I think what we do right now is go for their capital. Duchy of Orléans. So, is the king out already? Yeah, he's out. Good. Uh, actually... Wait a minute, you're the king of West Francia. You're the emperor. Why couldn't you make me king? Okay, we're definitely going to take over here. I know there's, like, we're not going to declare war on him for the throne, but we are going to get a claim due, due to meritocracy, right? And then, once we get that claim, we're going to try and revolt, and we're going to try and do it in a peaceful way, right? That's usually how we do this. So... Can we not blackmail you? Wait, it's you. Yeah, that doesn't matter. You don't have any money, so... So we're going to try and do this the same way as we did it the other time. Uh, as the same way as, as what got us into uh, into a duchy. 
So we're going to try and aim for a peaceful transfer of power with our king. I don't really like our king being there, to be honest. And let's be honest, we want to have the king of West Francia, and that is basically our only goal right now, right? That is the uh, the winning... Uh, that would be the winning move. That would allow us to win the Loyalist campaign. So we're going, to, we're going to try and go for that. But first, we need more allies. We need more allies, we need more troops, we need more everything. And we have an intelligent ruler, and his heir is pretty good as well. So, and he's only 24 years old. We'll see, guys, we'll see. Okay, good, got that. We got some prisoners as well. Let's see if we can ransom those. Where's their army? What are they doing? They are trying to take Angus again. Let's try and prevent that. Let's try and move. They're probably going to take it anyway, but... Hmm. Come on. Yeah, 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 we'll help, we'll help. Get in there, come on. Oh, my friend. We are going to blackmail you. Oh, man, it feels so good to be back in Crusade of the Kings. It's such an amazing game. <laughs> right, hopefully we'll get this valuable hostage here. Bon appetit. Good, I had to do this, I had to do this, absolutely. There we go, inheritance now. Uh, we have a bit too much here. Let's see, because you guys have uh, given me this tip. Let's see if we can have our wife manage the domain, help us at least with that. But it doesn't seem like that's going to be able... Doesn't seem like we're going to be able to do that. So we are probably, probably going to... We are probably going to give the, some lands to some other people. Um, for example, you. Looking at the duchies here. You are a... You, 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 you what, what are we earning from this? Uh, how do we feel about this? Oh, we are <laughs> we have London. That is amazing. For, totally forgot about that. So yeah, I probably want to give you that title as well. So let's grant you this title. County of Devon. And then... I'd like to keep London... Building currently disabled, but will re-enable next month. Okay. Don't know why that is, but sure. Uh, I'm thinking of a new vassal for Brest. Although we've done some, up some upgrading there, didn't we? Oh yeah, right, we could have revoked that. You don't hold any titles. I think I'm going to grant you a door set. Yeah. Grant it. And... We'll sign you as a steward. We need a new spy master. Yeah, I don't want you as a spy master. And I think we'll just give somebody Anjou. Oh, they're occupied, right. Okay, you know what? We'll, we'll liberate Anjou real quick. Hopefully we can get this war over quickly. Let's fight them. Uh... He has declared war on the Emperor. Huh. I wish to side with the Emperor, but there's I don't think there's anything we can do about this. Come on, everybody, get in here. We need to catch them, even if it's just one army. Yeah, there we go, good. Good. Now let's take uh, let's take the uh, the war target real quick. Although I don't like this. They have siege equipment too. You know what? We'll push through. We'll push through, take care of them, and then then uh, circle back. Oh no! 
you're not getting away, my friend. Come on, allies. I need you in here. Good. Whew. Ooh. Lovers, eh? Lovers. That is useful to know. Now, let's take the war target, because uh, I really want to win this war right now. Did they already liberate Amiens? No, they did not. Very good. Now. Oh, damn it. Good, there's the hook. Let's amount payment. At least it's another 50. That's good. Sweet smiles and little eyes. He gains the trade. Charming. Charming is good. Faction created against us, really? No, it's just peasant rabble. That's fine. Okay, let's take that war target. There we go. 97%. If we take one more... One more holding, that would be great. That would be the end of this war, and we'll... Ah, there we go, that's the end of this war. Let's enforce our demands, they'll pay... Oh, that's actually less. Ah, that's too bad. It is what it is. Right, now we are fighting another war, uh, but that is the War of the King. I'm not going to do that. I am going to disband the army, and we're going to hopefully, hopefully make some money real quick. Uh, also, it would be good to get some more piety, I guess. But I'd rather get some more prestige and become illustrious. Good, we can vassalize you. That is great. Let's go for low feudal obligations there. We'll do something about the contract later. Um, and then you. You should be vassalized as well. Offer vassalage. It's not going to happen. Why not? Because we are not the rightful leash. Of course. Okay, so then we might actually just go to war with you. But we can't declare war because we don't have a castle's belly. Damn it. Well, we will have one at some point. Trust me on that one. So yeah, it looks like we are uh, starting to move. Uh, meritocracy, definitely. We need to go for that claim throne thing. Yeah, it looks like we're starting to move towards the end of this series. If we can uh, get the kingdom. But maybe, just maybe... Um, Claim throne, there we go. Let's claim that throne, shall we? We are now overwhelmed by stress, which isn't good, so let's go on a hunt. There we go. Should have done that earlier, though. We have a rude vassal. Just as my courtier Lubica started to dismount, one foot still in the stirrup, my obtuse vassal Reeve at the wolf made sure to bump into the horse, sending her stumbling across camp. Hmm. You're acting like a child, and you will be punished like one. Absolutely. Good, more secrets. Wait, that's our spy master. Good. There's the vassal. So we have a hook on you. Let's blackmail you. Ah, damn it, the scheme is exposed. Well, it's fine. He can know about it. It's fine. Let's get some more money. Come on, payment. Very good. Now, we should fabricate hooks. Or get more hooks, at least. You know what? Let's not do that right now. Because uh, you have a couple of vassals. I'd like your... I'd like the Kingdom of West Francia, please. Actually, you. You could get Anjou. There we go. Right, we're probably spending money because of... Um, we're probably spending money because of... Uh, what's it called? Because of replenishment over here. Yeah, that is the case. So let's, uh, let's just spend some money for a while. Let's wait for a bit and uh, get our realm under control. I wouldn't mind a pilgrimage, though. They're expensive. That is the issue. Ugh. We'll wait for a while. Take some time to get stuff under control. Oh, Emperor Kuntule is dead, right. Being attacked by Count Voldemar. And we can't join the war. Because he has a war with our leash. Damn it. 
And there's the inheritance. Okay, so what did we inherit? Oh, we have the... <laughs> okay. Yeah, that seems uh, great. I'm just going to get another Vaseline for that. Yeah, right. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Right, we're making money again, which is good. Uh, I wouldn't mind expanding these a bit. So let's do some expanding. Uh, no, let's not waste more time. Now, what we should do is we should uh, go to our leash, check his realm, which is all this, and then check his vassals. So the Duke of Bar is living over here, and what we should try and do is get some dirt on him. And hopefully, hopefully there's something something up with him and we will be able to get a strong hook on him. And we need that hook. We need that hook. Good. Soon I will rule the rest of West Francia. I, I will rule West Francia. That is going to happen. After all my hard work, it is finally time to present the evidence that I have come across that I am in fact the rightful heir of the king, to the kingdom of West Francia through an old dynasty marriage. King Guillaume... Guillaume? I think it's Guillaume will be nothing more than a simple pretender as long as he stands in my way. Now, there is one problem I'm having here, and this is something I kind of forgot. He is a Carling. So, in terms of... In terms of lo loyalty... When it comes to loyalty, we're not really loyal to... The Carling dynasty, if we were to claim his throne, would we... Wouldn't... Mm. But he is fighting our liege. And our liege is winning. We are going to get the claim, I think. No, I mean, come on, this is a loyalist campaign. We can't move against Carl. Now, although... It's really, it's a, it's a bit of a tricky situation, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to wrap my head, head around this, because in, in some ways, he is a traitor, right? Because he is, he declared war, yeah, he attacked the Emperor for his claim on the Empire of West, Fr the Empire of Francia. So, he's a traitor, and I think we could be... I think we could serve the Emperor better than he can. So, in a way, this would send a message, right, to him. I'm just seeing if we can justify this from a, a roleplay perspective, because he is a traitor. He is fighting, like he is in fighting. And we are loyal, we are loyal to Carling. Like, we are loyal to the Carolingians. But we are loyal to the Carolingian that makes most sense, right? And that is the Emperor. Yeah, I think we can justify this. I think we can justify this. Let me know what you think about this in the comments, guys. Oh, we lost progress anyway. So, yeah. This is what it is. Uh, just be strong and resist these impulses, because we can host the feast right away. So let's do that. Burn off some stress there. There we go. Welcome, friends. And yes, we are... I think we can justify this, guys. Because, um... He is a traitor. So... He's a bloody traitor. I don't know. Marie deserves all the credit. Until next time. Good. We gain some prestige from that as well. Now, hopefully, and we should probably, probably start swaying this guy, because hopefully he will revoke the title of that Carling that is over there right now, which is basically the traitor Carling. He is no longer a Carling to me, but maybe, maybe I'm a bit biased here. Maybe I just want to be able to get the kingdom. So, please, please protect me from that, guys. But yeah, maybe, um, I feel like he's a traitor. I really feel like he's a traitor, because he revolted against, he revolted against our liege, right? So... Yeah. Okay, let's that's a that's a count. So we should blackmail him. 
We'll get a strong hook. We're gonna probably need that strong hook. Although I think it's your leash that actually, you know what, blackmail that guy. And for now, we'll just demand payment. It's not gonna. It's gonna take many years before we get that claim up anyway. So, and Krems is under siege. Why? I don't matter. I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't care. Okay, let's see if we can do some construction. Doesn't look like it. Is that Stonehenge? That is Stonehenge. Ha! <laughs> awesome. Good, there we go again. Yeah, I, I have made up my mind, guys. I feel like this guy is a traitor. I absolutely feel like this guy is a traitor. He is... Um, he, he, I mean, he is attacking the Emperor... Of Frank, yeah, which is also a Carolingian. Yeah, this is a Carling traitor. Good, nothing can stop us now. Not so feudal system, indeed. Right, so, um, we're swaying you. Man, I would love to. Ugh, okay. So, if we were to make a faction, let's create a claimant faction. We're already at 81 percent. I might send some gifts here and there. Yeah, I've made up my mind. I I feel like this uh, king is a traitor. He is attacking. He's attacking his own kin. I'm not gonna. I'm not. Yeah, I'm. I stand. I from a role play perspective. I I stand by this decision. It. I know it's moving against the Carolingians, but it's also moving in favor of the Carolingians because he is literally fighting our like the our liege's liege, right? So. Okay. So. After we get this perk, we should probably probably start moving towards. Uh, yeah, that doesn't matter. After we get this perk, we should probably start moving towards um, being able to fabricate hooks, because that is what we are going to need. So, uh, you. You're the Duke of Bar. That's over there. So, we're already there, aren't we? Yeah, we're already there. I don't think we can get any dirt on him, but we'll see. And as per the rules, we'll try to get a peaceful transfer of power out of this. Yeah, the Emperor keeps being attacked, but the problem is we can't join him. Like, our leash is blocking us right now. Now, looking at our faction, we want to go for a peaceful transfer of power. Uh... But it's not not looking like that's gonna happen right now. So we'll go for through. Uh, truth is relative. That is going to be very important for us right now. We have a dangerous faction of uh, of our own, which is lower county control. That's not going to happen. We're at 148. I'm hoping to get that up to 180 to 200 because that it doesn't. I don't know what guarantees a uh, peaceful transfer of power. But if this bloody duke would be able to join us, then then we would definitely be able to uh, to declare the war here. Because right now there's two members, the Duchess of Orleans and us. She has 2,000 troops. We have 4,000 troops. We have some allies as well. We might be able to get some more allies. Do we have more children? Yeah, we do have more children. You know what? This is actually not such a bad idea. We should probably marry you off to uh, somebody who gives us a lot of alliance power, like you, for example. Uh, so that's going to give us 3,000. Let's send that proposal. Very good. That's another, another ally. And then we have another daughter. And I think I want to do this matrilineal. Uh, that's inbred. Sort that by age. No, we will sort it by alliance power and see if there's somebody who has. Okay, that's not inbred, but that's also not a lot of uh, not a lot of troops. So 
Well, I think it's the best we can get. Yeah, it's the best we can get. So, that's gonna be it. Fine. Okay, there's another ally, let's check this. 157. One seventy four. Count Robin. Yeah, because here's the thing, guys. It's it's kind of sad as well, because I mean the goal for this let's play is to because we've we've set a goal right at the start of this uh, let's play. Uh, and the goal was to become a king under the Car uh, under a Carling dynasty. And the Carolingians had to have uh, an empire title, and we had to have a kingdom title, and that would be the end game. Now, some of you mentioned that we should have all of Francia, Lotharingia, and it in Italia, and I think that is a good idea here, because I, it, I yeah, I don't want to end the let's play once we become a king, because we we might we might become a king fairly soon right now, and I love this campaign. But let me let me uh, let me know what you guys think about that. I absolutely love this campaign, so I kind of want to continue it and try and see if we can get uh, these extra territories. Uh, you know what, we should probably check. So against our liege, let's see who's not in there yet. You are not in there yet, but you also aren't in there. You're the Duke of Neustria, we've had some issues with Neustria. So there's the duchy title, let's make sure we plop our spy master in there. Over here, hopefully you'll get a secret there. But yeah, it would. I, I would be too. It, yeah, I, I won't like. I mean, I don't like to. Ooh, we have a crusade. Damn it. Yeah, my warriors will be happy to fight, but. Yeah, I mean, this is the loyalist campaign. My warriors will be ready to fight. Now, that means that we probably have to act fast here. So we're still at 169. Um, we have some money to, to throw at the problem, so... But not enough. 169. I'm gonna wait for a little while. And I'm gonna be really careful right now. So when's that sway coming in? Look at that, 215, that's it, press it. Yep, we will press our demands, definitely. Boom, claim and demands accepted. It is clear to me that you would see the realm burn before giving up this foolish venture. What? It is clear to me that you would see the realm burn before giving up this foolish venture. For the good of the realm, I must accept your demands. But know that a great injustice was done here today. This will not stand. Look at that, people. This is what we have been fighting for all along. We have a Carolingian with an empire title. He is our liege. It is Emperor Lois III. And we are now finally, finally a mighty king. Look at that. King of West Francia. Bloody hell. A wise decision indeed. Man, what a let's play this has been. Jeez. So, how are we doing time-wise? Can, uh, can we do a bit more? Uh, we have three more minutes. Well, let's at least get the realm in order, but... Well, guys, I mean, this is basically the goal. We've achieved the goal that we've set at the start of this campaign. So basically, basically we've won, right? Basically, we've won. Thank you guys for being with me on this journey, by the way. You've been really, really helpful. Like, trust me, I wouldn't have been able to do it without you guys. But, but, um, with your permission, I would like to continue this campaign and see if we can not only be the... Like, looking at this, we have Francia... I would like to get a Carolingian on the throne of Francia, Germania, and Italia. How do you guys think about that? What would you guys think about that? Because I think, I think that would, um, I, I, th I think that would be in line with uh, you know Charlemagne's vision, right? So we'll try and help. We'll try and help our liege to do that. And maybe, maybe we should just continue this this campaign until the end of times. But honestly. 
I mean, we have won the campaign and I have several, several new campaigns in mind that I would like to play. Um, so let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know, let me know whether you think uh, we have won this campaign and we can move on to the next campaign. Or whether you guys think that we have... Uh, ooh, your primary heir is a woman. That is not good. How old are you? 37 years old. Well, I mean, it's fine. Princess Denise... Hmm, I'm thinking marriage. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Would you like to see more of the Loyalist campaign or would you like to move on to a new campaign? It's um, kind of up to you. Right. But for now, let's see if we can get the realm in order real quick. We can ransom you, we can ransom you. Let's see what our vassals think about us. Uh, so looking at our vassals, yeah, we have a couple of vassals that are not really happy with us. Um, this Carling being one of them. We can't imprison him. That is too bad. I would like to do that. Uh, should we Should we do anything about our... Look at that. Moving up in the world. Indeed. We are moving up indeed. So, yeah, we should probably take a look at our vassals here. We have some... Um, we should probably, probably also... You're considering a proposal. Okay. Yeah, we need to get the realm in order. Because they might just revolt against us, so... But then again, we also, we're also we also a loyalist, so we probably also need to think about um, helping our liege here, because he's in a lot of wars at the moment. Right? Yeah, you're in a lot of wars, so we should probably... There's an independence war over there, that's not good. So... Forms closer to, to a friendship with us. We should be friends with that guy. Who is uh, Who's throwing the in independence war here? There's the independence war. Oh yeah, we need to try and prevent this. So, we have to fight for the realm here. That's the timer, by the way. We have to fight for the realm here. I would like to be in the council, by the way, and I would like to be... Well, I'd basically like to be what, you, what we do best. So, we don't really do anything. We're not really good at anything. Well, maybe stewardship. Let's just go for stewardship again. So, we'll demand a place on your council. There we go. And we shall go for the stewardship position. We'll be the steward. Very good. Now, um, we will also join you in just a single war right now. So let's join you in this one. We should probably start sending out some... Why are we overwhelmed by stress? What happened there? Okay, good. We're swaying this guy. He's really important for us right now. We've already sent you a gift. Let's see if we can send some more gifts to our vassals. Uh, him, I kind of want to either murder or imprison. But yeah, he doesn't have that many troops. Now you are an, you are a problem as well. Well, you like us. It's mainly these powerful vassals that we need to do something about. Maybe we should plop them into the council. Because you're a, you're a decent steward, the Duke of Flanders. So, and you're just a mayor. So, I think we'll appoint the Duke of Flanders as our steward. There we go. He's going to like us a bit more here. And then let's check, take a look at those other vassals as well. So, you, what can you do? You're actually a decent... Uh, a decent marshal. And you're just a knight, so I think we're gonna make you our marshal. Yeah, look at that. There we go. That's good. Uh, let's also do something in Dorset. So that's fine. We're fighting Wessex, it seems. And Burgundy. If we were to join a war, does it take us... Like, does this give us stress? He becomes our friend if we join this one. I kind of want to join oil, oil wars, to be honest. 
and just do what we can to help you. Okay, yeah, we are fighting Wessex. We might be able to... Uh, and there's the uprising. I don't know what that is. That is there. Okay, fine. And then we have this situation, which is over there. I think I think we can take care of all this, and maybe we should help the king in Wessex. So we'll have a uh, we'll have a second rally point. Uh, we'll move it over to here, and we'll raise all the troops. Or actually, let's not raise all the troops. Let's just raise the um, let's just raise the men at arms because I think the men at arms are enough to tackle this problem. So there's a notable guest, and we actually need to stop playing, don't we? Because the timer already went off, and I have to run. <coughs> right? Yeah, we should stop. Uh, okay, so. We we have victory, guys. We we did what we had to do. So I'm going to present you guys with a choice here. There's three things we can do. One, we can uh, we can call this a win, and we can move on to the next campaign. And I have a next campaign in mind. I think it's going to be Viking Conquest. But if you have any other ideas on that, let me know. I since we haven't got a, a thousand subscribers yet, I can't do polls. But I, I what I'd like to do in the future is do polls, so you can just vote for a campaign, and I'll. Give you some options but uh, so that's option number one quit this campaign we have indeed won we are a king under the under the carolingian empire we have won second option is let's um let's um let's try and conquer at least east francia lotharingia and italia we need all those empires and we call it a win and then there's a third option which is let's just keep bloody playing this campaign and and just Keep playing it until until the end of times, basically, because uh, I think this is a beautiful campaign, and I really like this loyalist playstyle. And if we if we start moving on to Viking conquest, then we will have different rules. So um, yeah, but maybe we'll do another loyalist campaign in the future. I mean, who knows? We could be uh, we could be I don't know a loyalist in some some other uh, uh, in some other some other some other uh, some other empire or or kingdom. In any case, it's been a pleasure recording this for you guys, and it's been a pleasure sparring with you guys. So uh, thank you very much for that. And thank you for watching. And I hope to see you on uh, either the next episode of the Loyalist Campaign or the next campaign. Ready, guys? Thank you. Bye-bye.